Hey guys, Manus Labashane here. Today I'm going to give you a few tips about batting. I'm here with the bubble, and the first thing we're going to start with today is setup. Now, I think the setup is the most important part of batting. You want to make sure everything before the ball is bowled is in the right spot. Now, when I set up, I usually take center and I scratch middle a few times and I'll set my right foot up on middle stump and I'll set my left foot up on leg stump. And I have this foot slightly more open to make sure that my head can get down at the ball and my head's nice and level. So from there, I tap the bat a few times and then that's when I start, right? I try and get my head nice and level. And then from here, the grip is very important. Now I have a pretty basic grip where I have the hands running down the back of the Vs. And then when I lift the hip bat up like that, the top hand's doing most of the lifting there. And then the bottom hand is just sort of resting. Right, so from here, I've got my grip now, I've got my stance. Now I get myself in this position. I trigger my right foot over to off stump and my left foot over to middle stump. I try and make sure I'm in this, what I would call an L shape, to make sure that my feet aren't crossing over because if my feet cross over, then that's when I'm gonna have to come back and rush the bat back in and that bat path towards the ball is gonna be not straight. Now, from here, I, I'm on off stump, I'm here. I'm just trying to make sure that my hips stay nice and square and the bat path is nice and straight. With a straight drive, for me, it's all about head position. It's not about my feet moving forward, it's about my head being nice and forward. So I want my head over my left foot. So when I do the trigger, bang, I'm here. And with the straight drive, there's actually not another, another step. So I just hold there and then I wait for the ball to come in. The ball's gonna pitch about there. And then I'm gonna give it a little jog through as I hit that straight drive. The most important thing I think people get mixed up sometimes with a straight drive is you don't want to take a big step at the ball. If you take a big step at the ball when the ball's straight, your pad sometimes gets in the way and you don't get an actual swing at the ball. Now, the cover drive's the same thing, so same setup. With the cover drive, we're getting into that, for me, that trigger position. For you, it might be different, but I get into that trigger position. Now, from here, with a straight drive where we didn't take a big step forward, with the cover drive, we take a little bit more of a step across. So it'll look something like that. So see, it's not a big step, it's just a small step, but it's about the direction of the step. So once again, not a big stride, it's just a small step, and once again, that nose over your left foot. So here, And there we are, in that position. Now, once again, that's not a big step across. So, if a bowler's bowling, I'll be setting up here, there, and then pushing off again, running into the direction that I've hit the ball there. So, as you can see, when I push off that leg with that cover drive, you wanna push off the inside of your foot here and push your weight into the ball when you hit that shot. Not a big step, it's all about head position. Now the pull shot is a shot I love, and I think it's a shot that growing up in Brisbane, you need to be able to play. So once again, setup's all the same as we have said before, but we're tapping the bat, we're getting ourselves here. Now here, from this position, which is exactly the same as the straight drive and the cover drive, is instead of my weight going forward, my weight pushes forward and then I rock back. So push here, rock back, and then make sure that my body weight's then backing out this way. So I'll talk you through that one again. So first one is you do your trigger, you get yourself in that nice set position, whatever that looks like for you. Then from here, you're picking up the length. So you see the ball short, you're looking to get forward and you go, no, that ball short. So now my weight goes back. So from here, forward, weight back. Now the hands go up and you go. So that's what it looks like. So when you put it in fast motion, it's 
you get that left knee up to counterbalance yourself. So here, rotate around, and that's the perfect pull shot. Tell you who plays that shot very well, Nathan Lyon. Now he's a fellow Kookaburra man. He has got one of the beautifulest textbook pull shots. So any young kid you want to see someone play a pull shot, obviously we know Punner is one of the greats of the pull shot, but have a look at Nathan Lyon. He gets that knee up nice and high, swivels around and even gets that slide back away. Looks beautiful. Now this is a very important shot because it's an attacking shot to a ball that's hitting the stumps. And as a batter, it's really nice that when a bowler's bowling his best ball and you can score runs off that ball. Now, with this shot, once again, the most important thing about playing the shot off your legs is making sure your head is in front or in line with your right foot. Because if your head's behind and you go like that, you'll get LBW and the ball will rush back and you won't have enough time to get the bat down. So once again, making sure you get yourself in that position, head nice and level, you're searching for the ball. You've seen that the ball's slightly over pitched. You get that head forward once again, you're not taking a big step at the ball and then trying to play across your pad. You hold your balance and maybe you'll take a small step and then as that ball then comes into your pad line, you push the bat out in front, you finish with your elbows nice and tight, and your bat, the back of the bat, lining up with the bridge of your nose. So if you go full there, so that's your perfect flick shot off your legs. The most important thing when you're batting is watching the ball. You need to watch that ball as hard as you can. Now for me, when I face up and I tap the bat and I look up, all I'm doing is I'm trying to find that ball in the bowler's hand. Even though that bowler is maybe 40 metres away, I'm looking for that ball. I'm trying to see the seam, I'm trying to see the kookaburra side or I'm trying to see the 156 side. Now I look for the seam, some players just see the ball, some look for the seam, it's different for everyone. And it doesn't mean you're a better player or a worse player if you're not seeing the seam or you just see the ball. Some people are small focus, some people are big focus. So when I'm looking here, I'm here ready to see that ball, the ball comes in. I'm looking for that seam. If I see that ball is slightly swinging away, then I might let it go. So I might let it go like that. Or if that ball doesn't swing and I've seen it, that's where I might play that straight drive that we talked about just before. There's a few tips and a few thoughts on the different shots around the ground. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I'm very excited to be playing with the bubble this summer.